the achievements for all the Borderlands across the franchise before the, the third one's here. I'm trying. There's a lot of dudes on this wave. Holy crap. If we're able, seriously, if we're able to get one of these done, say we get this, we actually beat the goalie. I am going to be really impressed with this. And I'll keep going from there, but like, just getting one done solo, I'm going to think is, we have to do all three, that's the goal. So I might do them off stream if we fail, but I'm hoping we don't fail. If we actually do this, like, honestly, that's an accomplishment. Solo these, at the... Max level, because they are a pain in the ass. Most people just run them at low level and just get it done. That's not good, because of shit like that. Die right as you kill the guy. I think that was only wave one. Like now we have the psycho wave. I don't know. I really didn't do that much more damage. Do you already have all the Battleborn achievements, or is that considered a Borderlands game? I've got all the Battleborn achievements, actually, but it's not considered a bad, uh, Borderlands game, Fitman. Thanks for being here. Yo, Fitman! What up, man? Thanks for being here. Welcome to the stream. But I do have all the achievements for it. That one takes a minute. You gotta master all the characters. You gotta run through their tree and... But that's okay, because we streamed that game for like a year and a half. That game was our jam, dude. But how you been, fit man? It's good to see you. Thanks for being Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, hey. Kind of a cheese spot for this wave. Oh, shit. Unless it does damage to us. Where did that guy go? Did he just disappear? Those are the best waves. I'm so glad those are in there, because they're quick. They're quick, they're frantic, you just kill the shit out of stuff. Wasn't around for the Battleborn days. It's cool that you were a Battleborn player though, man. Big props for that. Big ups. You got good taste. Oh no. These bad lines don't... Do not add to the experience even a little bit. Even a little bit. Okay, you're gonna have us constantly lose health in the wave where it takes the longest to kill stuff. You would run off. That's crazy. Is it just two dudes? That'd be beautiful. That happened on a wave a while ago. Got a boss. Shops have new inventory, except you can't get to the shops. I have a burning hatred for Overwatch. That makes me a true believer, right? You're a true believer, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Overwatch is doing great, though, man. It's it's having... I, I don't want to call it a resurgence, because it's always had a low simmer. But it, they've done such a good job with, like, introducing new characters routinely every three to four months that it's like, it goes on a low simmer, and the it stays alive, and it stays alive, and the... Oops. And people stick around and play it, and then, you know, just to keep it hot, they throw a new character out there. And I don't see that game going away anytime soon. Especially with the competitive league. It's becoming almost like they've done a really good job with it. I hate that game, too, for what it did to Battleborn, but... Blizzard's done a really good job managing it. So far. It's 
because it's becoming a mainstay. It's like League, you know? It's just another one of those franchises. It's in the mainstream. This shotgun is doing work, and that's not good. And we're still way too early for this to happen. <laughs> I don't know that he's going to move around that corner. If he does, I think we could get him, but okay, we got lucky. We got lucky. It's going to be moments like that that will really, really wear us down if they don't go our way. I can't believe that. It disappears really on two. I know it's apparently a really good game and all. I just wish it could have been uh, healthy to be it made. Yo, Turbo T Baggins! Good uh, luck. Thanks for being here, Turbo T Baggins. To be fair, Final Nail was that one patch. Like the Q random game type. And yeah, that happened early into its life. But Randy Varnell was really pissed that that change got reverted. And it. In the end, he, may, he probably was right. That game was his baby, and he would have known best, I suppose. But Because that's how it ended up. But it still seems like it defeated the purpose. But I get it. I get it. And, you know, that's... Holy shit, we don't have a shield. It does suck, but it's ancient history at this point. As far as video games are concerned, you know, it's, what, been two, three years now? It's you think it's three years. I'm pretty sure the the Battleborn video I've been working off. Look, Skags, man, I swear to God. Like, I never had seen Skags in here before. Uh oh, I'm really low. Um. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's three years, so. I would have loved just one more character. Just one more Battleborn character fit, man. What kind of character would you like to have seen for Battleborn? Shit, we got a second one while we're in that. This is sadly not an Ajax Ogre. It's a damn good one, though. It's a really nice roll. It's a really nice roll, but it could have been even stronger. Uh, Minor Moxie Arenas myself. Nice, man. Good luck on the big ones if that's what you're going to do. You're not achievement hunting. You already know. You don't need me to tell you. Probably not worth. Probably not <laughs> worth doing this. Oh, uh, well. I don't know that we're gonna be doing it ourselves. It's gonna get it's gonna get so hard. It's gonna get absolutely ridiculous. See, it's already getting pretty f difficult, man. We're starting to ride off second waves, and that's a bad sign because we're not even halfway through. These enemies are just gonna start hitting so so hard and having so much health. And pretty much once we hit a wall, I'm done. Um, I'm not going to be done with the stream. That's not my plan. I'll probably stream Apex. Um, but we could even start... Bo if it's really early, if I hit the wall really early with this, where it's very clear that we can't solo this, I may even start Borderlands 2 today, which would probably be the smartest, considering we're running out of time. But I'm still going to try. If I can get through this one, then I think I can get through the others. But as I said at the beginning, this is a massive if, being able to solo this at this level. Where the hell did he go? Is he up? Oh no, there he is. I love they have the Halo lunge in there. Just more evidence of how they were inspired from Halo once they did the, the port to PC. Put those kinds of features in here. Oh shit, we're gonna go down on this one. I should have been smart. I should have left that guy. I was thinking about it in the back of my head and I didn't do it.
The thing that makes this rocket launcher great is it hits pretty hard and it has a large magazine. I, I really do love that aspect of Borderlands 1 that I feel like they were really in tune with what worked and what didn't work and when they went to go do patches later on in the game's life rather than like trying to totally rework it which didn't need to be done they just worked within the limitations so like okay rockets suck we can't go through and change the entire balance and readjust how they work we're just going to design one that corrects the weaknesses of the regular rocket launcher it's still not going to hit that hard I'm just giving it a big mag like that. We still have naked. Please get rid of naked. All right, good. That's the worst one. Wow. Actually... It's totally worth putting out the masher when we get this challenge. This isn't even the close to the best masher you can get. It would have been so sick had we been able to get a little bit of luck, because I did farm off stream before we did this. Hoping, 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 hoping we could get some really, really nice ones to make this seem a lot more doable, but I never got lucky. I did probably 50 runs on Ajax, which isn't much for most people, to be fair. Probably 50 runs on Ajax, probably 100 rounds on Terra Morpheus overall. Probably a couple hundred at the Claptrap DLC and the uh, Nox chess. I just wish we could have got a little luckier with Terra Morpheus. Because there's one one build on Brick, a Pangolin build, that I think... That even though we wouldn't hit near as hard... Would have given us... Basically would have given us the ability, if we needed to, to become basically indestructible. That's... Brick is pr the closest thing they've ever done to because of this linear scaling and some other things to actually making a tank other classes both pre-sequel and borderlands 2 try to convince you that there's a tank build but there's not it doesn't work all you want is the all you can run is dps at the higher levels but this game you can be a tank with the linear scaling and brick can do it a pangolin build a titan class mod or a centurion class mod it is you run a pangolin mod Actually, that's what it is. It's a pangolin mod, and then you get the super health boosting shields. And then, of course, you then plot your skill points down all of his survivability, and you're not going to die. Which is what I was really trying to farm for at the end. And my, you know, with my, the idea being that it might take us like three hours, but we would probably be able to do this because I just don't think we'd die. What up, Charles? How you doing, your ways, leaders? How you doing, Charles? Thanks for being here, man. I love when it buffs you. Like, this is when it's fun. But when it's nothing but, like, shit against you, and you're deep in this, and they've got all these buffs on top of that, that's when it gets really hard. And really frustrating. Like, I don't mind it being hard, but I want it to be interesting hard, not just like, hey, this stuff does a ton of... Like, you know, the classical problem of... The enemies do massive amounts of damage and have massive amounts of health. Meanwhile, you've been static, aka challenge. Mechanics. Mechanics should be challenge. Not bullshit. Which is what that is. It's the easy fix. Anthem did that in spades, man. The so-called Grandmaster difficulty. It's all that it is. It's, hey, everything has a fucking ton of health now. I'm hoping we get this done, because like I said, Borderlands 2 is my second favorite game ever. Obviously, we're all pretty hyped for Borderlands 3. And that's next. That's next. No matter how this goes to today, tomorrow is Borderlands 2. No matter what. This is literally the last Borderlands 1 stream. I'd love if we're able to finish this up, actually do these arenas. Or not, we're not. Either way, tomorrow is Borderlands 2 time. Well, I think boss wave now. We're nearing the halfway mark. But that's it. We're just nearing the halfway mark. These are long. These are really long. 
I would have loved since they did a remaster if they would have added checkpoints. Being able to save out of this and come in and finish it later would have been the minimum. The minimum. They could have fixed a lot of obvious problems with this DLC, but you would just think that that would just be like, that is just not working. You have to sit down for the whole session. Because it's a lot. It's a lot. We're starting early, you know, but with you with your buddies, you, you can't just sit down and bust these out. I know that was... Oh, boy. I know that was the problem I ran into. Having seven points in Die Hard is saving our ass. And that's all there is to that. I'm hardly hurting the bastard. Holy crap. Dubstep! I'm gonna have to change strats here halfway through this. Uh oh. That guy's not really peering out the way I need him to. I know I'm. Oh, wait. I think if I kill the Scorpio, it counts. I think this is it. Holy crap. Oh, ho, 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 ho. we were actually about one or two shots away from killing that thing. <laughs> now, I'm pretty sure what happens and why I get really pissed at this is you now go back all the way to wave one. And there's no XP. There's no benefit. You're not getting proficiencies. Not getting drops. So here's how this is going to work. Even though we're only an hour into the stream. If it doesn't work. After say five attempts. It just ain't going to happen. I'm going to have to do this off stream. And this is going to be the finale of the playthrough. Yeah it's. Not only that it knocks you back a whole round. That's. That's so bad. Alright so make that three. That's strike one. Three strikes and I'm done with it. And I'm going to go start a Borderlands 2 playthrough. And I'll do this off stream. I might do it on stream just to do it. And basically have a just chatting stream. Dude, I can't believe it set us back an entire round. Who, who decided that that would be a good idea? We were going to be on wave round seven. It took us all the way back to round five. Not only does it reset your waves, that's plenty enough resetting your waves. It takes you back a whole nother round. What? That's crazy. I'm gonna change our mods. Uh, this ogre mod's great. The diehard buff is super, but. Hey, Tucker. Come here. Why'd you sound so zombied out? Say hi to the stream. Hi. So, if I don't succeed here, I'm gonna go to Borderlands 2. Do you wanna play that with me? You wanna start the playthrough together? I'm watching. Are you going to start that playthrough with me? You know, most nephews would jump at the chance that I'm saying that I'm offering. So it's either yes or no right now. No, okay, fine. You're not involved in the playthrough then. He's using YouTube over having a freaking Borderlands 2 run with his uncle. I tell him all the time that my brother, I used to love to want to play with him. And the only way I was allowed to even go around him was I had to be perfectly still and quiet just to watch the game and that was like the ultimate luxury for me
That's me also saying that I don't think we're going to be able to do this. I wish it were different. I did try to gear up. But I'll probably just have like a lazy stream within the next few weeks. And I'll put this on like, literally I'll run it down to the freaking lowest possible level and we'll just sit here and hang out and talk and we'll run through it. And I won't put that on YouTube. This was this is gonna be the final episode no matter how it goes. I'll give it this last shot though. It's just a mathematic thing, man. If we don't have the damage, if we don't have the damage to survivability, then it just isn't gonna happen. That is Borderlands. At its heart, it's an RPG. It's an action RPG. More so than a shooter. Destiny is more of a shooter. Even with all that they've added and changed. At its heart, it's a shooter. It's different for Borderlands. Borderlands 2 is kind of like a really weird quasi marriage of, of pure shooter and pure RPG, which is why I think it did so well, but then it was such a mess later on. Though so it looks like people are really strong at OP10. Does, does OP10 and like the level cap going to 80 actually make you really strong and kind of fix OP levels a little bit? Oh, I should have paid attention. The shotguns are doing more damage. Sucker. Even with Borderlands 3 coming out, you don't want to do a playthrough of Borderlands 2? You hear me? Huh? Has that ever held us back before? This is, like I said, this is your shot, because I'm going to be starting a fresh playthrough, but once I start it, I'm not going to just start it over or stop it. This is going to be it. Well, I'm not starting it right now. It's probably going to be in the next hour. If it's, and it really depends on if I fail. But are you going to be ready within the next hour? People are going to say this is the most anticlimactic and so I think it's over 100 episodes long, our Borderlands playthrough. Th these are going to be the final episodes. I mean, it would be really dramatic and epic if we somehow managed to start pushing through waves again. I don't see it, but certainly it would actually start to make this exciting if we start to freaking somehow push through. But it being a pure, sh you know, more of a RPG than a shooter, it's gonna be, it's gonna be tough. Man, thousand XP. I could have also maybe run Lilith in here. Like I do have other characters, but I Lilith probably got the small arenas done. In fact, I'm pretty sure she did. I could try Lilith if we want to give it another try. If we just want to be done, then we can be done. So I've got my Lilith leveled up, and I think I still have gear on her. I gave a lot of gear to Brick. Cause I didn't try to dupe it, because that caused a lot of issues the last time I tried that. As in, I lost everything. Lost everything, so I haven't tried it since. Every time that this thing rolls, it should be at equal proportion. One buff for you, one buff for the enemy. These guys are just straight up tanking anyway. Holy crap.
We don't have as much Die Hard now because I took off the Ogre mod. I might get Bronze. I might. It's gonna be really close. Ooh. See, once we got the freaking kill, there, we can just smack them. That's what could keep us going. That's enough damage to power through the whole thing. Oh, dude, this thing is awful. I've been not doing really nothing but whining. I've already died once, and it just blew my mind. This game, this DLC always, when it has a decision it could make on whether it's going to do the thing that would make you be like, okay, at least that's tolerable, or I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and be even more awful, it always goes towards awful. So, like, you know, you get no XP, you get no guns, except for the end, you get some guns. And there was actually a legendary they dropped. It was shitty, but just on principle, I was going to pick it up. And at two, the guns disappear. It doesn't tick to zero or give you much time. It's a five, four, three, two, and then at two, it's already despawning because they give it two seconds for to do the animation. We had our first death already. And it was one of those dumbass waves that they do in here, like vampire and naked. It's totally random. So, aka, you know, you're dicked. And we died. Took us back a whole round. Like, I thought, okay, this kind of sucks because it takes you back all the waves. Even that, I think, is a bit much. I think you should just get to restart the wave. This is the worst DLC that Borderlands across the franchise has ever done. I completely agree with you there, Rikers. This this right here is the worst DLC in the whole franchise. Borderlands 1, 2, I don't, Tales, pre-sequel, even that shitty PlayStation Vita game they did. And it, it, it sucks because it's actually a good idea. And they always mess with arenas, and it's not a terrible idea. I discussed a little earlier, like, why didn't... They could have done so many cool things. Like, if this was going to be a challenge mode... Okay, that's cool. Then the bosses should drop their gear, and they should have a higher chance to drop their gear. Not only that, it should have been like a... It could have been a precursor to OP levels. The world, the actual overworld levels don't go up any. But the guns you get are overleveled, but you can equip them so that you become more powerful. Like, putting this in here and having this be a four to six hour thing, and it's hard, and then not even adding a reward to it is... It's insane. It goes everything that is good game design. It's so, so strange to me. It, it, you get the certificate of badassery that you can't even look at. And they'll be like, oh, it's bragging rights. It's bragging rights. Well, then you need something in-game. Something in-game to show that you did this. I don't care if it's a fucking skin. It's got to be something. But it just punishes you. And... I, I, what I thought they could have done... Thanks for being here, by the way, Records. Records is super creative. He's really smart. He's really hardworking. He's a great dude. And you should check him out. You should check him out. If you like to be entertained on Twitch, which I can't imagine you don't, then you give that man a follow. Um, the lack of checkpoints is, to me, just the biggest, though. If, if you're going to do this thing that's just an absolute kick in the head, then let people save and quit. <laughs> That should be obvious. That should be so obvious. If you're gonna do something that's 100 waves, that's what it is. Freaking five waves of 20 rounds. Then let people save when they're at like, you know, round seven and come back tomorrow and keep trying. But what I think they could have done, I think this would have been interesting. I think this could have been the most interesting. Is make it that you have like a mini Borderlands experience in here and it, it can tell a little story and it would be kind of a challenge mode but you get a totally unique character like pre-sequel style and you only level to 20 but there's some horizontal progression in there it's sort of badass rank-esque but mostly with gear that would be dropping and then you put some vendors in here and you add some challenges in here and then your goal is to like, that's what it would test, is your skill as a as a Borderlands player in general. But this isn't a new DLC, right? No, hell no, it's it's 10 years old. It's 10 years old. Consequences. What are you talking about, Turbo T Baggins? Consequences for like, I can't play with my pallies on Saturday night anymore because it's midnight, or? I mean, consequences is fine. You die, yeah, you should, you know, have to start the wave over, but being knocked back a wave around means that every single time you die you could go back all the way from the start and it's already a six hour thing and there's no checkpoints so it makes no sense 
Like, again, that's why I say the crux of it is not being able to save, even. You could go and you could play with your pals all night, alright? And then you could get... You could come in and, like, you know, it's 2 a.m. and you got work in the morning and so you guys need to get off for the night. And like, oh, okay, no, 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 let's push through, we're almost there. And then you could go on a dying streak because you're all tired and you're all frustrated. And you could be all the way back to wave 8. And, you know, y you could. If I die here, I'm going to be on 4 as far as I know. I think I'll go back to 5. In fact, I'm probably going to die here. Oh, I almost didn't. I think I gotta go back to the ogre just for the life, but, uh... I think that what this could have done, and I think it would have been excellent, and it would have been really, really creative, and it would have been ahead of its time, is, is like, uh, the survival DLC with Division. Is make this a... focused Borderlands experience. You don't even have to make new Vault Hunters. But you just drop them in, and you have to use the gear that you're given. You loot it as you go. Not putting loot in here is really fucking crazy. Borderlands is strictly about loot. How do you do a DLC that doesn't have loot? This is probably it. Yeah, I'm... Ooh, shit, he moved. Ooh, it's gonna be close. Um, <clears throat> but no, I think that, uh, what it should test is your ability to loot, your ability to build, just like Battleborn, you know, you, like, you build your character while you're in the middle of the match, and you have to make decisions on the fly. That's what it would test. It would be even cooler if they did a Void Bastards thing. Void Bastards is that uh, roguelike English first-person shooter that looks like a comic book that came out here like two months ago. Void Bastards has procedurally generated characters, so each one actually ends up getting a different skill tree. That would be Borderlands in a nutshell, because Borderlands is always about pumping the procedural generation up to 11. Procedurally generate a random person in here because it's Moxie's arena, so arguably more than just Vault Hunters are in here. It's a bunch of people across Pandora that are trying their luck. Procedurally generate characters within certain builds. They only have a level cap of 20, and, and you've got to try to fight out these 100 waves. First the 5 rounds, and then later the 20 rounds under that challenge, under those parameters. And that would test everything. It wouldn't just test your ability to go out and farm endlessly to, and come in here and try to, you know... Because you're either going to get through this or not, is what I've been saying too. This is more of an RPG than a shooter. If you don't have the right guns, you don't have the DPS, you don't have the survivability, this won't happen. Even if you're a freaking amazing shot, you're 420 no-scope constantly. The numbers don't lie, Senor Joe. If you don't have the stats, you ain't going to beat this. That's why I'm saying I'm only giving it one more go, because it's either going to happen or it's not. It's not a matter of skill. I mean, slightly. You gotta, you can't be completely dead on the joystick, but at the same time, skill is not gonna get you through. If you don't have the DPS or the survivability, it just isn't happening. And, uh, I think that a better test of, a, of the skill level for a Borderlands player is how well do you gear, how do you build, and how well do you shoot. Because this game's an RPG. That's what it should really be testing. That sounds sweet. Thank you, Fitman. Thank you. Yeah, I think that that could have been fun, man. I think then I'd be like, hey, let's let's dig into this DLC. This will be interesting. I wonder what kind of character we got. Oh, okay, we got a we got a soldier type character. That's what it would like procedurally generate as characters within that model. And then I think you could do like a proto siren. You know, it, it's somebody with the genes that they could be a siren. If one dies, they might have the gift. Because not all sirens are born sirens. We've just recently learned that. And so they would have some, like, low-key siren skills. And then you'd have, like... I think you would want to go more towards Borderlands 2 and have a... a companion-style character, like Flak or the Necromancer. And then a soldier, of course. But then you've also always got to have that raw DPS character, like Krieg or Salvador. That would be the last one, is just, you know, the, the crazy shit in the game. So then what, you design like, say, 50 skills, and you put them in a pool. You know, that brings its own challenges, but at the same time, it would, anything's better than this. Because what you would do then is you'd start re-rolling your character until you know you got exactly the right DPS perks, for instance. If you want a DPS character, like, oh, okay, I got the gun damage skill, I got the reload skill, I can build this guy out. He should be good. 
Took a lame run with Sarah and doing min max level stuff. You're talking about like just put it on the a lower levels account and then run through it. So if that's what you're talking about, that's what I'm probably gonna do too. I don't imagine I'm gonna be able to do this. It's not looking very good. So I'm pretty sure that's what I'm gonna do. I mean, I'm definitely gonna, one way or another, I'm gonna do this. I wanna get all the achievements. But it just might not happen at level 69. All right, here we go. This is where we died the last time. Dude, that took us another uh, probably 15, 20 minutes. Dude, that's crazy. That's a terrible checkpoint. That's a terrible checkpoint system. Knocking you back a half hour every time you die. Like 10, 10 to 15 minutes should be the absolute max of a checkpoint system. Preferably like Gears of War 4, I thought had an amazing checkpoint system. Just put it at the end of a scenario. Like you were able to beat everything up to this point, so we'll keep you there. But we're not going to push you past the scenario. Okay, we want to keep getting these... Wait. I think I'm on the psycho wave. Am I on the boss wave or not? Yeah, okay, we are. We got lucky. We got an easier boss. I'm down, but I should have kill skill, right? No, I don't. Dude, him dodging is so bizarre. Oh, we got to seven. Of course, now if we get to seven, we'll still get knocked down. So the wave doesn't, the run doesn't end quite yet. Doesn't end quite yet. This is clearly going to be one of those streams where I just complain. <laughs> 